if you are new or welcome back if you have been here before i am freya this is budgie budgets where we are trying to create some financial security for our beautiful family and that includes paying off a heap of debt um it is sunday it is a very very miserable overcast rainy rainy sunday in melbourne so um i apologize for the lighting it is going to be very shadowy because i have all of the lights on um because yeah it's very very dark here today so today we are going to do uh cash on stuffing our budget for the coming week and what else we're we doing our roundup challenge and a check-in um weekly check-in so i do usually do this on a monday but we are going to try doing this on a sunday so that on a monday i can play my new monday minis which i'm really excited about um so let's get started i'm we only have one category to unstuff this week um it hasn't been a particularly spendy week which is nice and this is the wrong binder um however <laughs> What we did spend was um we have a long weekend in melbourne this weekend it's the king's birthday tomorrow um so my youngest daughter's school gave them a curriculum day on friday sorry i just have to itch my nose i feel like i'm gonna sneeze um and uh yes yeah, so she had a curriculum day on friday so i decided we would have a little mummy daughter date and i would take her to go to the movies um so we went and saw if um it was really cute. It was it was like sadder than I expected, um, but it was quite a sweet little movie. However, for just the two of us, I was absolutely horrified. So we are in stuffing 20, 40, 50, 65 dollars. We blew our whole family fund category for just the two of us. Like, and we didn't even <laughs> I, anyway, so it was just that's a ticket each. And um, I did let her get popcorn. I did let her get a, like, frozen Coke. It's not Coke there anymore, but... Um, and a bag of lollies. That was it. So, I mean, we won't be doing that again anytime soon. Certainly not at that cinema. I do think there's another cinema close, like, not too far from us um, that is a little bit cheaper because I really want to take all of the kids over the holidays to go and see Inside Out too. Um, but obviously that is going to be an incredibly expensive endeavor. So we'll see how we go. We'll see how much we can boost up that school holidays category because we're going to need a lot of money. So that's all we're unstuffing for today. Um, yeah, we haven't spent out of anything else this week, which is nice. Um, so we will get on to our mental blank. We will get on to our budget with me. Oh my goodness. Um, so... We are budgeting for our second paycheck of June. It is a, our smaller pay week. Let me just see if I need to zoom in a tiny bit. I think we will. There we go. Um, yeah, it's our smaller, smaller pay week this week. Um, so our regular income after we've taken out some money for rent this week is 796. I am also adding in $10 from my Etsy income to put into my super. Uh, so we're working with 806 all together. And then, uh, yeah, so we're doing, sorry, my brain is clearly a bit scattered this morning. I'm on a bit of a time crunch, so but that's okay. So $10 is going to ambulance. Uh, Apple Care, which is insurance for my youngest school iPad, is getting six dollars, uh, and that's it. So sixteen for our fixed expenses leaves us with seven ninety, and then I am going to. I don't normally bump up these categories in our lower income week, but I am going to. Um, so groceries is getting forty. Petrol is getting 40. And then Mikey is just getting five. That's our um, public transport system. My older daughter's gone on an excursion in a week or two, and I have a feeling that her Mikey will probably need to be topped up before she goes. Um, 
bulk groceries you will see in our weekly check-in that we have spent and a horrendous amount of money this past week I couldn't even tell you why I don't even know there's been lots of little top-up shops um, yeah I'm not really sure so we're gonna have to stick to a really strict budget this week hopefully um, and with petrol I think I already mentioned I topped up like I filled up and I've kind of it's kind of now that I'm on the wrong <laughs> wrong week of the fortnight for um, filling up so I don't want to be able to do a full fill up this week so I'll do that in next week's pay but I'm not going to get through the whole week I don't think without topping up a little bit so that's what we're doing uh, so that is 85 in total which leaves us 705 we then have into our cash envelopes we are putting 420 so that will that includes our money for savings challenges and $30 of that I'll be playing with tomorrow in my new Monday minis games which will be fun. Uh, that leaves us with 285. And that whole 285 is our visa payment for this month. So that leaves us with nothing. And that is our zero base budget for this week. So yeah, I mean, it's not great. It's not the worst. <laughs> Um, we will do our weekly check-in. So we started pretty much everything in the negative <laughs> this week, which is an ideal, but that's okay. And I look, that in part is where our grocery money went as well, obviously, because we overspent from last month. Um, so we added 740. We spent $554.47. I don't even know what on you guys. Like I haven't even done my big shop for the month. Um, so we have 128.40. I just have no idea where this money has gone. Like, I mean, <laughs> I know it's all gone to groceries, but I'm just not really sure what I did buy some cleaning products, I suppose. Um, yeah, my daughter's shampoo and conditioner, stuff like that. Um, I have to buy nice shampoo and conditioner for my oldest because she does a lot of swimming. Um, it tends to ruin her hair a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think things like that. There's just nothing specific I can really tie it to. Um, but it is what it is. We'll see how we go this week. Uh, we added 45 to take away. We had a special deal on, um, so we actually only spent, it was 36, not 35. Uh, so we have nine dollars left in there in all likelihood i will sweep that up and add it to our groceries um so we added a hundred to petrol we didn't spend any but we'd already spent that hundred so we have nothing in there chemist we added 20. we didn't use, use anything from that this week so we have 14.55 left so yeah it's not great <laughs> i'm not i'm i'm pretty worried about that grocery amount but I mean, we'll just see how we go. And I am thinking I'm going to have to change how I'm doing that. Um, mostly because I found an offer through our health insurance, which I didn't even realize they have like a, um, like a rewards program and you can log on and buy discounted things. I found it because I was looking for cheaper, um, movie tickets. And they, that was the cheaper price for movie tickets, by the way. I bought them through them and got like 25% off, if you can believe that. Um, but they also do for our supermarket, if you buy a gift card through them, um, which you can then shop with in store online, you get 4% off. So if you buy a $500 gift card, it only costs you $480. Um, so I think I might start doing that because it gives us like that extra $20 um, a fortnight would be really really helpful uh so i'm not sure whether i might front load our groceries for the whole month maybe i don't know i'll have a play around and see like obviously this month is pretty much already set but moving forward from july yeah i'm wondering whether i front load our groceries put like a thousand dollars in there or even 1500 at the start of the month buy those two or three gift cards and then use them throughout the month um yeah I'll have a think about it and I'll have a play, but I think that might be the plan moving forward. So we'll see. So that is that. And the last thing left, this is gonna be a really short video today, you guys, cause we didn't have much to on stuff. Um, 
Where have I hidden my Roundup challenge now? I keep forgetting. In here. So Roundup is the last one. And yeah, like I said, we haven't, I mean, obviously we've spent a lot of money on groceries, but we haven't had a tremendously spendy week. So there hasn't been a lot of transactions to round up. So it's only $2.16 in there uh, this week, uh, which is fine. Still better than nothing. Hang on, what did I just do? So what's our next highest one? 64 cents. And we've got another one of those there. And then 63. What? Oh dear, what have I done? I did something wrong then. Uh, so then we have 25 and we've still got that available. There we go. That's filling up nicely. Um, thank you also for the lovely, lovely response to the release of my budgie box. You guys are so, like, it's, yeah, it's, I keep saying it every video. I'm like, you guys are so cool. It's so cool. It is, though. It's really exciting. Um, so I've got a few orders to fill. They came close to selling out. They didn't quite sell out, but I am going to keep, just keep the listing on there because I have organized with my printer now that I can get them printed same day. Um, so if someone placed an order and I don't have the stock there, it won't be a problem. Um, yeah, so that's all good. Um, I think that's all for today, you guys. So I would absolutely love it if you could join me tomorrow for my first ever Monday minis. I'll have some new challenges to set up in there and we'll, yeah, we'll just give it a go and see how we go. But other than that, I will see you on Wednesday for my regular cash stuffing. I hope you guys are having a beautiful weekend. Anyone else who's enjoying the long weekend, I mean... I know the weather's horrible, but I hope you're having a good weekend anyway, and I hope you have a fabulous next week. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. If you have liked what you've seen, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.